Hi, I've been playing around again and I came up with this little device. I haven't seen this anywhere before, so I thought I'd share it with you. Uh, and what it is, is a small magnet here, which is a little neo magnet, so one centimetre one. Behind it is a piece of rubber band, I just cut that from a thick rubber band, and then this, which is an induction coil. You can buy these from Maplins, they have a ferrite core and a few turns of copper around it, and the magnet will stick to the ferrite core. Okay, so that's, that's it. Now what's really amusing about this is if you stick it to something, and I'm just sticking it to a big old coffee can here, and attach it up to uh, where my speakers go, so these two leads go to the speaker output, and turn on the music, and there you go, <laughs> one coffee can speaker. Well, I thought that was so cool. What I did was go around the house and find a few other bits and pieces to see what else would work with that. Here it is stuck to a bit of paper. Okay, that's all it is. It's just stuck to a bit of paper like that. Same thing, a bit of paper. Um, the reason this was on the front of the card was just to hold this onto the card, that was all. Here it is on the notebook. Again, the magnets on the outside, just to help it make good contact. You bother to glue the magnet to that, then you wouldn't need to bother. And here it is on a mixing bowl. Here, nice cream container. A bread tin. Possibilities for this thing are endless. I'm just looking around the house, <laughs> finding things that I think are going to work and giving them up. Obviously, some things work better than others. So, if it's a thin surface, it's quite stiff, like the, the bread tin, the cooking bowl, um, the um, ice cream carton, and it's got a, uh, or on the coffee can, and it's got a bit of an enclosure, you're going to get a, a lot better result than you are. Uh, with anything else. The flat things like the bit of paper, the cardboard, the notebook, they do give a sound and you can hear it, but obviously not as good as some of the enclosed stuff. But like I said, I thought that was a huge amount of fun and it's really, really simple. All it is, is an induction coil, a bit of rubber band, and a small magnet. And you put those three things together, connect the two pins to where your speakers come out, and you can turn just about anything into a speaker using this. Have fun.